Hiya, I'm Vicky, and today I'm going to do a Jurassic Park dinosaur themed set of nails using gel polish and acrylic powder, some 3D, some flat, and I'm going to split it into two videos. prep these two nails first going over with a 240 grit file dust off wipe over with the nail nails gel as you wipe off solution to clean off all that dust and I'm going to be using the Nail Nails Nail Prep Dehydrator. This dehydrates the nails so it allows the gel polish to adhere. I'm going to be using the MFBE Base Coat. Apply Base Coat, cap the free edge and pop it under the lamp for 60 seconds please. Urban Graffiti Butterscotch. I'll be using this for the sand. Push it up towards the cuticle, sides, cut off the edge, pop it in the lamp for 30 seconds please. I'm going to apply my second coat. Pop it in 30 seconds please. Using the Urban Graffiti Top Coat, I'm going to be painting over this nail and not curing it because I'm going to do something special <laughs> with the acrylic powder. So uncured, get in the Nail Nails Crystal Clear and a spatula, sugar over the top with clear because I want it to go matte and have like a textured effect. Um, make sure you get all them corners. Tap off the excess and then pop that under the lamp for about a minute. Mega white acrylic powder and the high speed acrylic liquid. Brush that off. Do the bones of the dinosaur. Get a tiny bit of acrylic powder. Take off some of the liquid. Wipe the brush. We use a dotting tool so I can push into it. So we dino head and do a spine. Split this and so it looks more bony.
just going to do a bit at a time otherwise I don't want it to set too quickly and it'll just be a blob I'm using the tip of the brush just to cut through the acrylic Spine done. Move on to his legs. I'm literally just manipulating the acrylic using the tip of the brush. Separates toes using the tip of the brush. To his other leg. I've done this one a little bit smaller because it's going to look like it's sat behind. I can spread his little feet out. Rib cage. I'm going to do some really small cuts in the acrylic. And do another little arm behind that one because this is high speed this one's already sat so I can put this one straight in behind it now I'm going to put in some little spines I'm just going to like pop them on his jaw and just cut into with the tip on the brush again to try and give him a bit of textured teeth. I think I'm going to give him a top tooth. There's my hybrid little dinosaur. With his chicken feet. I'm just gonna wait for that to set. And now that's completely sat. Sat. Dom. Pop some cuticle oil. Got lemon. Just to rehydrate that nail because I've dehydrated it. And there's my sandy T-Rex hybrid dinosaur bones sat in sand. And next, I'm going to move on to the thumb. I'm going to prep this nail, go over again as I did with the other nail, the 240 grip file. Wipe it off, wipe it over with the nail nails gel residue wipe off solution to get rid of all the dust. I'm going to prep the nail with hydrator. 
that's why you need some cuticle oil afterwards. Using the Urban Graffiti Base Coat. Push up towards the cuticle. Drag down. Sides. Make sure the whole nail is covered. Cap it. Pop in a lab 60 seconds using the Urban Graffiti Leo Shimmer collection. A shimmery, shimmery brown. I'm going to be using this for the mod. Tap that free edge, don't get it on the fingers. Put it under the lamp, 30 seconds please. I'm going to do two coats of fat so that shimmer proper pops. Cap in. Lamp, 30 seconds please. So I'm going to lock this colour in now. Urban Graffiti Top Coat. Cap it. Pop it in the lamp. 30 seconds, please. And for the grass slash mud, I have mixed together the Neo Nails Rainforest and the Belgian Fountain acrylic powders to make a green mud. And I just mixed it until I got a colour that I thought might work. So now, again using the top coat from Urban Graffiti. I'm going to top coat that nail, cap it, and then the green, brown, scoop. Oh, I don't know if it's going to work. thumb the other way. And the other way. <laughs> it's so messy. But I love it. Tap that off using a dotting tool. I am going to scratch in and remove the acrylic powder so it looks like a footprint of a T-Rex. I'm just wiping it off onto some kitchen roll. And it doesn't have to be neat. T-Rex skeleton. And his footprint. It's all textured. It's nice. Scratchy. And his bones made out of acrylic powder. So I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. 
and all the products are listed below. I'll see you next time. Bye!